Linear number patterns will always have a constant difference. There are four kinds of questions that you can be asked. They'll ask you for the nth term or the general term, which is the Tn. They could then ask you to find a particular term, so they want a value, or they could say which term, in which case they're wanting the position. If you get one with a picture, for example with dots and sticks, it's exactly the same as the previous questions, but you need to write down the number of dots and sticks or whatever the patterns are on the actual diagram so that you can then translate it for yourself into one of these other ones. A useful formula to use is a plus n minus 1 d and I recommend that you bracket the d so that if the constant difference is a negative number you won't forget that you are multiplying that in backwards. a stands for the first term which is t1 and d is the common difference. You're going to get the common difference by checking that it is in fact common between each of the little pairs of numbers as they go along. You can check that it's going to work by taking any term, subtracting the previous one and checking that it is also the same difference as another term minus its previous term. When we find the general term for a number pattern, we are using the formula. We are substituting in whatever the first value is, we're substituting in the constant difference, and then we are going to multiply it incorrectly. And what we always do is we put the one that's got the n in first, that we have a formula that's got the same conventions as everyone else will be using. You are able to check if you want to that it does actually work out. The second kind of question you can get is they want the value, and they say, for example, get t4. They want the value of t4. They want the actual term. When they want the actual term, that is the value, and you're going to find it by substituting in the number that they give you that is the position. So they'll give you the position, and they want the value out. When they phrase it differently and they say which term, that means they're asking for your n value. They'll say which term equals 9 in this example, which means 9 goes into your tn, and then you put the rest of the formula in, and you solve for n. Because when they say which term, they're asking for the position. In this example, the common difference is negative, which is important to be able to recognize when the pattern goes down. You then have your a value as 4 and your difference as negative 2. It works exactly the same way, but this time what you'll see is the coefficient of n will be negative. When you're then finding a term, from there they're giving you the term number and they want the actual value. So you're subbing in that 30 into the n and you're getting out the t and you're getting out t30, the value of t30. When you get given it the other way around and they say which term has a value of negative 60, they're asking you for the position and they're giving you the tn. They're giving you that tn is 60 and they're saying well when tn is 60, what in fact is n? And you're plugging that in and solving for n. When you get given an example that has pictures, what you've got to be able to do is to recognize that that is t1, t2, t3, and then you need to write down whatever kinds of things they are. It could be black squares, white squares, circles, triangles, whatever the kinds of things that are in the diagram, the shapes that are there. You need to make sure you extract them and write them down so that you can transfer, for example, my 5, 8, and 11 dots into a number pattern that is 5, 8, 11. Once it's in that format, it's exactly the same as every other kind of number pattern and then I can find the general term, I can find what t50 is, and if they give me any value of a term, I can figure out where its position is in the sequence.